Hello, welcome to Wise Guys. Application of ratio and direct proportion. This session is for uh, show you the series circus. As we know, in series circus, for example, two resistor join as series and the current same, right? Because only one way the current can be, can pass. So for example, uh, this question, let's see, in a series circuit with two resistors, R1 equals 2 ohms, R3 e R2 equals 3 ohms, the total voltage equals 10 volts. Find the voltage dropped on each resistor. So there are two resistors. One is R1, is 2 ohms, the other is R2, 3 ohms, the total voltage is 10 volts. So looking for the voltage dropped on each resistor. What is V1? Because this is V total, we're looking for what is V1 and what is V2, right? Because only series circuits only one way, the current can pa passing through. That's why the current passing through each resistor same. So we have same, and follow the Ohm's law, we have V equals current I times R, right? This one, in series, you can say, we can write three formula for this formula. The V equal IR is the general formula. For this question, we can write V1, write the V1 equals I times R1, V2 equals I times R2, we can write the V total equals I times R total. Because current same, then we can see in this expression, current same, even we don't need to find current. Current same, the voltage is current multiplied resistor. So that's why more resistor, more voltage drop, right? So R1 equals 2 ohms, R3, R2 equals 3 ohms, that was, we know 2 ohms, the voltage drop will lower than 3 ohms because this is a resistor greater than this one. How to use ratio proportion? Because in this way we can say the voltage is direct proportion to the resistor. Right? That's why we can write ratio proportion. We can write V1, if we're looking for V1, V1 over V total equals R1 over R total, right? Because voltage is direct proportion to the resistor in series circuits. So this is ratio. So we have R1, we have V total, and we're looking for V1. What is V R total? Because in series circuits, the resistor add together. So the total resistor equals R1 plus R2. In this case, it's 5 ohms, right? So we can plug the number into this refreshing. Well, V1 over V total is 10 volts. You call R1 equals 2 ohms. R total is 5 ohms. Then you do cross multiplication, phi multiply V1 and 2 multiply 10, and we have 5V1 equals 20, so we can say V1 equals 4 volts, right? If you have V1 equals 4 volts, because total is 10, so that's why V2 equals 10 minus 4 equals 6 volts. 
right? You set the ratio proportion to solve the voltage drop on each resistor. The next question is in a series circuit with three resistors. We have three resistors. One, two, three. R1, R2, R3. R1 equals 200 ohms. R2 equals 300 ohms. R3 equals 500 ohms. The total voltage drop is 120 volts. We're looking for the voltage drop on each resistor. Same idea. First we find the total resistor in series is added together. It's 200 per 300 per 500, which is 1,000 ohms, right? Then we can write, if we're looking for V1, so V1 over V total equals R1 over R total. Because this is a ratio proportion, more resistor, more voltage drop in series because all the reason is coming from the current state. So we, we can do V1 over V total is 120 equals R1 is 200, total is 1000. So we cancel zeros. So 2 over 10 is 1 over 5, right? Simplify. Then we cut the V1 equals V1 times 5 equals 120 with that 1. So actually is we got 120 divided 5, we got 24 volts in the first resistor. So this is, a, is 24 volts. The first resistor. The second resistor we say we can do V2 over V total equals R2 over R total. This is a direct proportion, direct proportion. Voltage, direct proportion to the resistor. So we have V2 looking for 120 on the bottom. R2 equals 300 ohms and the bottom our total is 1000 so cancel zeros the ratio is 3 over 10 so cross multiplication 10 actually that this zero also can be cancelled with this zero right so we cross multiplication we got the V2 equals 36 volts right so also you can apply the third one, you write V3 over V total, you call R3 over R total. So we write V3 over 120, you call 500 over 1000. So cancel zero, cancel zero, and five over 10, actually it went over two, right? So then we can find V3 is cross multiplication 2 times V3 equals 120. So V3 equals 60 volts, right? And then you can see <coughs> this is a 36 volts. This one is 60 volts, okay? Because the voltage drop is direct proportion to the resistor. So 200 ohm drop 24 volt, and the 300 ohms drop 36 volts, and the 500 ohm drop 60 volts. Total add together 24 plus 36 plus 60 is 120. 120, right? So this is presented by 
Wise guys. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.